Okay, let's begin. Um, so what is density functional theory? Um, DFT is like a tool that helps us understand how electrons behave in different materials. And DFT is based on this concept that energy is a function of electron density. So the way I like to think of electron density is like electron density as a crowd of electrons hanging out around an atom or a molecule. And what DFT does is that it pays attention to how these electrons are distributed in space and it tries to figure out how figure out the total energy of the whole electronic structure based on how these electrons are arranged. Um, so DFT operates on this principle that by understanding the density and employing a mathematical expression, we can theoretically unravel the um, Schrodinger equation governing motion of electrons within molecules and atoms. All right, so using tools such as Atom SK and Vesta, we're able to simulate crystals on an atomic scale. For example, uh, we, were able to we were able to generate lead titanate on top of strontium titanate, which gives us a better understanding of the total uh, atomic structure of the crystal compound. The second model uh, shows just a single atom of lead titanate, which takes much less computing power to calculate the total energy of, rather than the larger crystal on the right. In order to generate a crystal, we must first write the code in Atom SK. That creates a file with all of the details of the property of the crystal, including the dimensions and lattice constant. After that, we can use Vesta to fully model the crystal in a, D in a 3D space. Okay, um, that's something that we're currently working on. And now a paper that our group is currently reading is called The Applications of Remote Epitaxy and Van der Waals Epitaxy. So the connection between DFT and epitaxy is that DFT can stimulate simulate how atoms arrange during epitaxial growth. And this paper goes over emerging epitaxy techniques called Van der Waals and Vermoot. And we are currently learning about the applications of these epitaxy methods. For example, the Van der Waals improves heat dissipation in radio frequency devices like the MRI machines and induction cooktops. And remote epitaxy is used in surface acoustic wave devices like electricity transformers and radar systems. The paper outlines many more applications that our group is currently learning and we hope to learn more. And thank you to Dr. Ackle, our group mates and ASDRP for making this possible. Questions?